There's so much to see and explore on the island and simply taking a hike can lead you to many wonderments. But if you're a thrill seeker, you'll want to experience the Catalina Zipline Eco Tour. It's an exhilarating thrill ride you'll want to get ready for. Are you ready to get suited up? Totally ready. All right, here we go. First, we made sure everything fit just right. We learned some safety rules from our instructors and then we boarded the extreme truck to the top of the mountain. Well, this is it. We're heading up the mountain to go zip lining. I'm a little scared, but I think it's going to be an amazing experience. The ride up the mountain itself was breathtaking, offering scenic views of the island. We even saw some wildlife along the way. Once atop the mountain, we experienced the ultimate in fun. Woo! Dropping in at 600 feet above sea level and gliding down five separate zip lines with one run that is 1,110 feet long. All told, if you take this plunge, you will travel close to three quarters of a mile and reach up to speeds pushing 40 miles an hour. Woo! Yeah. Now that's water. some serious adventure. <laughs> Woo. Thank you so much. It's definitely an island experience you won't want to miss. That was incredible. The Zipline Eco Tour is just amazing. But check this out. This will have your heart pumping. From extreme heights to extreme rides, the Catalina Interior Eco Tour is an island adventure that offers not only breathtaking views of the island, but the opportunity to spot some unique wildlife along the way. The interior makes up 88% of the island and is protected by the Santa Catalina Island Conservancy, which has protected the island from future development, allowing nature's beauty to thrive. Once on board this epic two-hour journey, you will learn and experience the rich history of the island from your tour guide and possibly view some native creatures, such as the Catalina Island Fox. It's the size of a house cat, and we were lucky to spot this wild creature. But there's one animal that isn't native to Catalina Island, but draws a lot of attention. And there they are, the iconic Catalina Island bison. Aren't they magnificent? They're not indigenous to the island. In fact, in the 1920s, 14 were brought over for the filming of a movie. But when it was time to pack up, they decided to leave them there. And now there's over 150 roaming the island. What a wonderful way to end our tour and our visit to the beautiful historical destination of Santa Catalina Island.